Whenever it comes to making an Indian style chicken curry, we tend to use tomatoes or yogurt. Today I have come with a chicken curry recipe where there is no inclusion of tomatoes or yogurt. And yes my friends, you can definitely make a delicious chicken curry without using these two ingredients. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bombi. Before starting with any of your other prep work, first do this step. I have taken bone in chicken. In it I added a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of turmeric powder and juice of half a lemon or lime. I have used a whole chicken cut up into small pieces. You can also use drumsticks or thighs or a combination of both. Mix everything very well and let it sit while you do your other prep work. As the title states it is garlicky, so we will be using one whole head of garlic. If you do not like too strong a smell of garlic, then please use less. I do not like using garlic or ginger paste for this recipe. I rather like to crush them. You can also use a box grater, but no using paste for this recipe. And there Mr. Bo is trying to figure out what I am doing. He is always too curious about everything I do. Here see this is how things should look. Then ginger goes in along with a green chilli. And the green chilli may look large but it is very mild. You can also use serrano pepper or jalapeno or leave it out if you do not like that chilli heat. If you are crushing chilies using a mortar and pestle like this, please be extra careful as the juices sometimes land on your face. So if you are a beginner, I would recommend using chopped green chilies while cooking then crushing them in this way. So ginger, garlic and everything crushing done. So let's start cooking. Heat oil on medium high heat. Once the oil is hot, carefully add the chicken and I use my splatter screen to protect my camera lenses. Spread out the chicken so that each piece gets that maximum heat from the pan. Please do not stir the chicken now. Keep like this on medium high heat for about 4 to 5 minutes undisturbed. After that you can briefly stir it and again keep them undisturbed for a few minutes. What you are doing here is searing the chicken and this will make it juicy and flavorful. After a few minutes you can give a stir from time to time until you see a little browning on the surface or when all the pieces turn from red to light brown color like this. I will now take them out onto a bowl. Now when my husband asked me what I am making for dinner and I said chicken curry, he particularly requested me not to forget about Mr. Potato. So Mr. Potato it is. But if you do not like it, please leave it out. I would say in that case it will be one step less for you. Fry the potatoes on medium heat till it develops just a little brown color along the edges. The potatoes available at our place cooks quite fast. But if you feel the potatoes at your place take longer time to cook, then please cut them into quarters or smaller pieces. I am from West Bengal and love using large potatoes in our chicken or mutton curries. Once fried, take out the potatoes. I still have some oil left in the pot and I will be using that but please add more oil if you see there is not much of oil left in your pot. Lower the heat to low and add a dry red chilli which is optional. Then whole spices like green cardamoms, cloves, black cardamoms, cinnamon stick and a dry bay leaf along with a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Give a brief stir and then add sliced onions along with a teaspoon of salt. A lot of onions are used for this recipe because we are not using tomatoes so the onions will bring in a flavor to the gravy. Slice the onions thinly and that will help the onions to get soft faster. I removed the dry red chili as I will be using it as a garnish to get a nice picture at the end but you can leave it in there. Fry the onions on high heat for the first 4 to 5 minutes stirring them continuously. Then lower the heat to medium and cover it. From time to time uncover, give a stir and cover again. When the onions look caramelized and lightly brown and soft like this, it is time to add the crushed garlic ginger green chilli. Fry 
fry them on medium heat for a few minutes and then it is spice time. So heat low and in goes a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder. My friends, please use lesser than what I use to start with. You can always add it later, but once added, it is very hard to get rid of the chili heat. I also added a tablespoon of ground coriander, that is dhania powder, and a teaspoon of ground cumin, that is jeera powder. Next, a splash of water to prevent the spices from burning, and then stir for about 2 to 3 minutes on low heat. Finally, add the fried chicken along with the potatoes. Stir on medium-high heat for about 3 to 4 minutes. Then cover on for a few minutes on medium-low heat. Uncover, add a teaspoon of garam masala powder and freshly crushed black pepper. Do not stir too much at this time as the chicken pieces may break. Now depending on how much gravy you would like, please add hot water accordingly. Add less if you would like a thick consistency gravy. My family always seeks for gravy, so I added about 2 cups of hot water. Next, cover on low heat for 20 minutes or until the chicken becomes tender of your liking. 20 minutes done, lift off. Now before stirring, this is the time to remove all those whole spices floating on top. You do not want any unnecessary whole spice drama at the dinner table. So please remove them as much possible or tell your family to push them aside if a clove or cardamom happens to land on their plates. Some of you are doubtful that the potatoes don't get soft in this time, but trust me, they fall apart. Now is the time to do a taste test. Add more salt if required or chili powder if you feel you can handle more heat. Finally, a generous amount of chopped cilantro goes in and you are done. Have it with rice, roti, paratha or naan. Trust me my friends, you won't feel the absence of tomatoes or yogurt here. Just try this recipe and send me your feedback. Please click that like button for me and I will see you next time. Bye bye.